Hey guys, and welcome back to Sports Television. Uh, sorry for the long break. I've, you know, wrapped up school. Sports seasons are back. I did my baseball things already, so I think I'd like to cover football. Um, as you already know, the Chiefs already beat the Texans, so I'll take that into account for what I'm doing today. But as you can see, I'm ranking all NFL teams. Uh, from the super category to the D category, using Tier Maker, which we've used in the past. These are going to be my honest opinions. Give me advice in the comments. Don't shout at me. Don't yell at me. This is what I think. One man thinks. So, you know, tell me what you think. Uh, as you can see, we have 477 subscribers. Let's get up to 500 by uh, the end of the month. Okay? So, let's begin. Okay? So, we got the NFL tier list here. And as you can see, we got the teams. Now, we are going to start with the Cincinnati Bengals. After drafting Joe Burrow, number one overall pick, they're looking, you know... You know, I, I'm going to revise these real quickly for all of you. So we're going to have C as four to six wins. Well, C is four to six. We'll have D as under four. We'll have B as seven to nine. Seven to nine. A is going to be ten to twelve. And then super is going to be 13 plus. Okay. So here we go. These are the win totals, uh, but you can use this as super A, B, C, and D. So first team Bengals, I think they go after Doe Burrow. I think they're going to be in the four to six win column uh, this year. Could be under four, could be. I think their ceiling seven, their low is three or four. But I think they're going to be at the four to six, so a D team. A C team. Next up, San Francisco 49ers. They just went to the Super Bowl. I think that they're a 10 to 12 win team. I think they're probably, they're on the border. I'm going to say they're a 10 to 12 win team. Probably 12 and 4, 11 and 5. Next up, Bears. Mitch Trubisky, Nick Foles, Mitch Trubisky starting. I think they're a 7 to 9 team. Green Bay Packers with Aaron Rodgers just coming off a divisional round loss. Crush to San Francisco. I think they're also going to be a 10 win team, so we're going to put them up there. Cardinals with Kyler Murray. Now, this is an interesting pick. I think they're going to go 9-7. and seven. I think I could see them up here, but I'm going to put them on the level with the Bears. Certainly higher than the Bears. I think the Bears have 7-8 wins, but that's where the tier ranking is. Next up, we got the Indianapolis Colts. Now, the Colts, I can see them tanking and doing okay. Uh, I'm going to put them at the 7-9 to nine ratio as of now. Next up, we got the Seahawks. Seahawks, I'm going to put in with the 10-12-win win category up there. Next up, Texans coming off a loss against the Chiefs. I'm going to put them also in the 10-12 win category. Jaguars, I think they're under four. I think they get the first round pick. I think they pick Trevor Lawrence. I just don't think they're that good of a team this year. They're going to be under four. Next up, Chargers. Chargers are starting from scratch. I got Chargers getting six wins. I think they're going to be along with the Bengals tier. Cowboys, this is an interesting pick. Do I Cowboys overhyped every year, seem to underhype to expectation. I'm going to put them... On the A tier, I think they're going to get 10 wins, so they fit the criteria. Next up, Giants. Giants can go either way. I'm going to put the Giants actually on the B tier. Uh, 7 and 9 wins. I think they get around 8 and 8. Panthers. Panthers, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go 4 to 6. Don't know what Teddy Bridgewater. McCaffrey's good. I'm... This, this one's tough. I, I'm going to put them at the end. The Panthers are tough. Saints, I think the Saints are going to get 13 wins. I think they're on the super caliber team. Next up, Eagles. <sighs> I have the Eagles going 9-7 and seven again. I'm putting them on the B tier. Um, although they're probably, out of all these teams, the best B tier team on this list. Next up, Vikings. I got the Vikings on the A tier. Uh, next up, Bills. I get the Bills on the A team as well. Patriots. I got Patriots at 7-9. to nine. They could impress me and go to the A tier. I think they're around... Eight and eight, nine and seven with Cam Newton. Next up, Broncos just got Von Miller hurt. Big star for them. And I'm gonna have to put them at seven and nine. Not too bad, but certainly not that good. Next up, we got the Rams. I think the Rams are not gonna be a bad team. I think the Rams are gonna get ten wins. I'm gonna put them on the A tier. Next up, Lions. Sleeper pick for a lot of people, but I'm gonna put them at the seven and nine range. Next up, Jets. Jets. I'm putting at the four to six range. Browns, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them at the seven and nine range. I think they're gonna get be nine and seven, honestly. Ravens, I'm gonna put the Ravens at the 13 wins. Ravens go 13, 3, or 14, too, something like that. But the Ravens have a good season. Next up, Falcons. 
the Falcons at another four to six. I think they're consistently a six and ten, seven, nine team, but I'm gonna put them at the six and ten. Put them there. Next up, Chiefs. I think Chiefs are gonna have thirteen plus games won. Put them at that list. Next up, the Buccaneers. Buccaneers, interesting team having Tom Brady. Um, I they've been a pick for a lot of people to go thirteen plus wins. I don't see it. I see either ten to twelve or nine to seven to nine. But out of respect, I'm gonna put it ten to twelve. I think they finish eleven to five. Next up, Dolphins. Dolphins have a bright future. I still think they're going 7-9, proven from last season. Next up, Oakland Raiders. I have Raiders going 4-6. Jacobs is good. Carr is good. Well, Carr is okay, but I just don't think they're that complete of a team. Why on earth? Okay, the Rams are apparently here twice. Don't know why. Uh, <laughs> next up, Titans. Titans, I'm going to go with 9-7 and seven for the Titans. I'm going to put them on the B tier. Redskins, or now the Washington football team, uh, I'm going to give them a 4-6 and six rating. Steelers, I think the Steelers are 10-12. to 12. Uh, Certainly not that bad of a team, but we'll see how Big Ben does. <sighs> Panthers, this is a really tough team again. I'm going to have them at 4-6. and six. So in review, we got 13-plus win teams, Saints, Ravens, Chiefs. I think they're going to have a solid year. Getting at the bottom with the first round pick, Jaguars. I could see one of these teams that I have up here, one of these seven teams dropping down. If we want to be realistic, we probably we may drop down the Jets, we may drop down the Redskins, we may even drop down the Bengals or the Chargers. Um, who knows? Um, on the seven to nine tier list, teams I think could exceed expectations: Titans, uh, Eagles, Patriots, Lions, Browns. And Cardinals, I think, could all exceed, but I think that's where I'm going to put them right now. 10 to 12, any teams that could underperform or overperform and get, like, that 13-plus. I think Steelers could under and over. I think more, more chance of getting underperformed. Same with the Bucks. same with the Rams. Um, I could see Seattle or San Francisco getting in that 13-plus. Once again, San Francisco and Seattle are on the fringe. They're at 12 and 4. I got the Cowboys at 11 and 5. Um, I got the Vikings at 10 and 6. Bills at 10 and 6. Bucks at 12 and 4, Steelers at 11 and 5. So, you know, there's room for improvement there. So, this is my tier list. Uh, more videos coming soon. Let's get ready for the 2020 NFL season. Uh, first games are at Sunday at 1, besides the Thursday night game. Uh, tell me in the comments what you guys think. Remember to subscribe if you like my content and you want to see more. Um, and yeah, stay safe.